Edmund Emil Kemper III, an American serial killer whose heinous acts shook the nation, remains a subject of deep analysis in criminology and psychology. His criminal activities, spanning from May 1972 to April 1973, resulted in the deaths of ten individuals, including his own mother and her best friend. Early Life and Background Born on December 18, 1948, in Burbank, California, Kemper's troubled childhood was marked by a turbulent family life. His parents' divorce when he was a young child played a significant role in shaping his psyche. Kemper's relationship with his mother was particularly strained, a factor that later manifested in his gruesome crimes. The Beginning of a Killer At the tender age of 15, Kemper committed his first murders. In a chilling foreshadowing of his future crimes, he shot and killed his paternal grandparents in August 1964. These initial acts of violence landed him in the Atascadero State Hospital, where he was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia. However, by the time he was 21, he was released with the belief that he had been rehabilitated. The murder spree Kemper's most infamous crimes occurred between 1972 and 1973. Standing at 6 feet 9 inches and weighing over 250 pounds, his imposing figure added a terrifying dimension to his murderous acts. He primarily targeted young female hitchhikers, luring them into his vehicle and then killing them. These victims were later dismembered and he engaged in necrophilia. The Climactic Horror The culmination of his murderous spree was the killing of his mother and her best friend. In a twisted act of vengeance against his mother, whom he blamed for his troubles, Kemper brutally murdered her, then decapitated and performed macabre acts with her head. Following this, he killed her friend and fled, only to turn himself in shortly after. Arrest, Trial and Imprisonment Kemper's confession was chillingly detailed and devoid of remorse. During his trial, the depth of his psychopathy was laid bare. He was found guilty of eight counts of first-degree murder and was sentenced to life in prison, where he remains to this day. Legacy and Analysis Kemper's case has been extensively studied for insights into the mind of a serial killer. His high intelligence, IQ reported as over 140, and articulate manner in recounting his crimes have made him a subject of particular interest. Criminologists and psychologists have examined his background, looking for factors that might have contributed to his violent tendencies. Edmund Emil Kemper III embodies the darkest possibilities of the human psyche. His crimes are a stark reminder of the potential for violence that can lie hidden within individuals. His life and actions continue to be studied in the hopes of understanding and perhaps preventing such extreme manifestations of human behavior. The Psychological Profile of Edmund Kemper the examination of Kemper's psychological makeup provides crucial insights into understanding serial killers. His deeply troubled relationship with his mother is often cited as a significant factor in his development. The abuse and humiliation he suffered at her hands contributed to a warped perception of women and relationships. This festering resentment translated into the extreme violence against his female victims. Kemper's intelligence and charm were other defining characteristics. Despite his monstrous deeds, he was able to interact with people, including law enforcement, in a way that deflected suspicion. This dichotomy between his social demeanor and his murderous impulses is a disturbing reminder of the complexity of human nature. Kemper's Interaction with Law Enforcement Interestingly, Kemper had interactions with law enforcement that went beyond the usual suspect-officer dynamic. Before his arrest, 
He frequented bars popular with off-duty officers, where he gained insights into police procedures and investigations. This knowledge may have helped him evade capture for a considerable period. Kemper's influence on criminal profiling Kemper's case has had a significant impact on the field of criminal profiling. His detailed confessions and the psychological assessments conducted on him have provided valuable data for law enforcement and forensic psychologists. His case has helped in understanding the behavioral patterns and psychopathology of serial killers, aiding in the development of profiling techniques used to catch similar criminals. The role of media and pop culture Kemper's crimes and his subsequent trial garnered considerable media attention. The horrifying nature of his acts, combined with his articulate manner of describing them, made him a subject of morbid fascination. His case has been referenced in books, documentaries, and television shows, often highlighting the sensational aspects of his crimes. Reflections on the Criminal Justice System Kemper's story raises questions about the criminal justice system, particularly in the context of dealing with mental ill.